zone called, you know, being lucky. It's called having everything go your way. When you deal with computers, you deal with ones and zeros. And the only way that you can make a computer more powerful is to expand the consciousness of the computer. Well, it's something bigger than ourselves. And that's got to be said. Broadcasting worldwide from an undisclosed location high up on the Rocky Mountains, here are your hosts, Chris and Cherie G. From the Lake of Diamonds, it is September 5th, 2015, hour number two, right here on Truth Frequency. Coming up in the next hour, or the, the third hour of the broadcast, commercial free, but we're going to keep it going throughout the duration of the broadcast with Seven Bomar. Now, Seven, this particular segment doesn't go out on GCN or to any of our AM and FM affiliates, so I want to hold on the reason why we feel pressure until the next segment, um, because I want to keep continuity for them. But uh, let's get into something a little bit different in this segment. I just put together a little ebook, and I'm actually really amazed at how well it came together. You can download it at truthfrequencyradio.com slash chrisgeo slash geowaska dot pdf. That's G-E-O-H-U- A-S-C-A dot PDF. And uh, we need to put a link up on our website so the listeners can download that. But uh, for right now, if you want to check it out, truthfrequencyradio.com slash chrisgeo slash geowaska the PDF. And uh, what exactly is geowaska? Geowaska is an analog, an ayahuasca analog and brewing process perfected by Chris and Cherie Geo. Of course, we did this where ayahuasca is legal. Using science, trial and error, experience, and intuition. This version of the brew um, is actually a very, very powerful brew. And we've, we've gotten this down to a science. And most recipes that you find online, they call for a short brewing time. They, they, they call for guessing when it comes to the pH level, the temperatures, and they use very little plant material, and it actually makes a very, very weak brew. So geowasca has been perfected to a science to ensure a powerful experience every single time. And in the seed book, we actually go through an explanation about what ayahuasca is, how to use it, uh, where it's used, the type of diet. I even give a little recipe of what I like to eat, um, which is actually really good. Uh, beans, rice uh, with salad and uh, just a little way that I prepare the, the meal that we break the fast with. And then actually give a good recipe on how you can make a very, very powerful brew. And this brew actually uses 100 grams of acacia along with Be Cappy and Syrian Rue at the same time. And there's different ways that you can brew it depending on what your purpose is. But when you brew 100 grams between two people and break it down into four 25-gram doses, which is only about four ounces of liquid per dose by the time you get uh, everything is said and done, it's an extremely, extremely powerful experience, especially when you redose after the purge, which is all recommended here. And, um, well, of course, only if it's legal in your area. I don't want to say that we're promoting anything illegal whatsoever. Only if it's legal in your area. It gives some tips for how to make your experiences a little better, um, how to filter the brew to make it almost tasteless, and even filter it so well to where you don't even have to purge if you don't want to. Now, I recommend that people purge because that's how you get all the negative energy out of you. It's a, it's a cleansing process. But after you've been working with a brew for quite some time and you get to a certain level after you've been cleared out and cleansed and whatnot, it actually uh, comes to a point where you don't have to purge because you don't have any more negative energy to purge within you. And I hope that everybody out there can get to that point because there's so many different levels. The first level is dealing with your own stuff and breaking yourself down. And then it's building yourself up as a warrior, as whatever your spirit is, whatever your calling is, a light worker, a warrior, a priestess, uh, whatever. And then you take it a step further. And then hyperspace, at least in my particular experience, experiences hyperspace ceased to exist it was rolled up like a little scroll by the goddess isis who i've been in contact with um it's rolled up like a little scroll and, and put to the side and said you don't need this anymore as a matter of fact in my last experience i traveled into hyperspace and she was just sitting there watching me and going 
so are you enjoying yourself? Are you uh, where you want to be? And I said, no, I'm actually not enjoying myself anymore. And she said, well, see, this is why I wrapped it up like a little scroll, because you don't need it anymore. Now the brew is all about insight, insight into uh, different experiences that you're having, into life life choices that you're making, um, interactions that you're having with people, and also, I've been using the ayahuasca to help heal people, not only by giving it to them, but also by healing them remotely and being able to go into the energetic body and start to clear out negative energies from within them or that are attached to them. And people are coming back and reporting that whatever I'm doing in the astral realm is actually working really, really, really well. But there's a, a few different tips here. You can hold your nose when you're drinking it, which is something that I never even thought about doing. I don't know why I didn't think about that. And it's, it's basically makes it completely tasteless. And then sucking on a, on an orange peel, um, a, a little piece of an orange, not a peel, I'm sorry, a, an orange, uh, an orange slice. slice. That's what I'm looking for. And, um, sucking on that right after you drink it. And it literally like neutralizes the taste completely, 100%. I haven't had too much experience, or I'm sorry, I haven't had too much success with using Be Happy as the MAOI because you have to use a lot of it, and it really makes you purge really, really hard. So if you do a little bit of Syrian Rue prior to taking the Be Happy, um, then the Syrian Rue actually acts as the MAOI, which neutralizes the stomach acids. You bring in the ayahuasca spirit with the Be Happy, and then use the acacia or the mimosa for the helper plant that contains uh, the DMT and the, the chemicals that help with the visions, and that just brings up a, a really, really, really good experience. And um, just goes into a couple of other little tips and tricks like this. And then I actually go into some of the entities that I've identified, and uh, I guess since we only have a couple of minutes, um, uh, hold right there, Seven. We'll bring you on here in about three minutes right after the break. Um, but I've identified several of them, which are like uh, the elves, which are first-level entities, rogue entities, which just kind of are there. They don't really have a purpose and maybe they're a distraction because they don't really teach you anything, but they're just kind of cool to look at. There were some little worms that I encountered that have these big fangs, and they were kind of scary, but not not really scary. But they were just uh, menacing looking, ominous looking. But they, of course, they can't hurt you. The God Mind, Mother Ayahuasca. I've encountered Anki. I've encountered Lucifer, who actually was a very very huge consciousness that gave me a lot of wisdom. And once he gave it to me and put it within me, I called on him again, and he came back to me and said, don't call on me anymore. I've already given you everything you need. You're the light bearer now. There's no reason to call upon me anymore. It was uh, He was a bit a bit arrogant like that, but um, it's exactly what I needed to hear at the time. There were gray aliens that showed up, and the grays, uh, I've been told that they're demons, even though they've never really done anything. I've never interacted with them. They're just kind of there watching and of course, the goddess Isis, who has called, and she is really the perfection of everything. I, I really urge people to work with the plant and seek out these higher consciousness, because the feminine has been suppressed, and the goddess Isis is the representation of the feminine. But um, Seven, we've got about two minutes left. Anything you'd like to, to add as far as ayahuasca goes? And we take one down and pass it around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I, I feel. I mean, personally, I, I you know I'm a I'm a big fan of of of, of the bio world, and um, and yeah, man, you know the experience is just is, is very expansive. So I feel like you know for a small fish tank kind of being, it could really open up the the spectrum a little bit more and kind of shift that frequency as you know to something that the person is going to really not be the same again but definitely go into a greater part of themselves because it's so intuitive to each individual so you know i, I personally say to to everyone you know to each his own because you know some people try to credit that to the reason why you know some people are just so into this but you know it, it's definitely something that i feel like um I've, I've watched many people that have gone through the process and you see an entirely different person oh it is it broke me down and created something completely new within me and i urge everybody post this pdf at truthfrequencyradio.com slash chris geo slash geowaska.pdf post that everywhere you can because I want to hear people talking about Geowasca and this particular style of brewing. We've got it down to a science. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We'll pick it back up with Seven Beaumont right on the other side. Wherever you are, make a TFR. <laughs> 